may well rain on your parade. Sophie. Louise, thank you. And that's it from the BBC News at six. The news continues here on BBC One because it's time to join our news teams where you are. Goodbye. Tragedy on the last day of term in Wimbledon. An eight-year-old girl has died and 15 others are injured after a car crashes into a school in southwest London. I'm here in Wimbledon where the community is in shock. We'll have the very latest. This is a very difficult time for everyone here at the school and across the wider community. We'll have more from our reporters at the scene. Also coming up on the programme... 30 years after Stephen Lawrence was murdered, news tonight that four retired police officers who ran the first flawed investigation won't face criminal charges. And the unsung heroes of the NHS. Tonight we meet midwife who's delivered more babies than she can even remember. Good evening, I'm Assad Ahmed. More now on the tragic death of a child after a Land Rover crashed into the building of a primary school in Wimbledon on the last day before the summer holidays. The driver, a woman aged in her 40s, has been arrested. Well, we can go to the scene now and hear from my colleague Alice Bandakravi, who spent much of the day there. Alice. Assad, as you can imagine, um, everybody here is shocked shocked and saddened at the number of people injured here today, of course, most of them young children, and devastated uh, that this young girl, an eight-year-old girl, lost her life uh, here this morning. Um, we're in a place called the Quadrant um, on Wimbledon Common. Uh, it's an otherwise pretty quiet place uh, on the border of this rural stretch of land here in Wimbledon. Um, you will see behind